We got the Stanley Cup. We're here to see Brooks Orpin. All right, you got it under lock and key. Yes, we sir. Do. Okay. So we came up to Cohasset. That's the little town that we're in. It's kind of like a little beach town. So it's, it's pretty quiet. Everyone kind of knows everybody. I know a lot of these guys are pretty jacked up. Yeah. They text me all week. So. This is an old sandwich golf course. It's strictly golf, but a lot of good people that work here. And then there's a lot of hockey fans. So I figured bring it down here and let them enjoy this. Thanks for letting us bring it down. No, no worries. We've been counting down the days, so it should be fun. See you guys. This is for you. I was always kind of envious of the guys that had kids, and then they always got those really cool pictures with the kids uh, in the cup, winning it the first time around. You probably don't expect to, to win it again. And then, yeah, fast forward nine years later, we have two great little girls, and they were super excited. The Stanley Cup was coming to their house. Harlow, come in here and lay down this way. And Brooklyn, you're going to come over here. Follow me then. Oh, Harlow. So cute. Does everybody know this dog is named Stanley? Stanley. Yeah. <laughs> We just at Holly Hill Farm. We share land with them. And then uh, now we're at Seabird Coffee. It's obviously a pretty small little town. You can see a little village, and uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. How you doing, guys? Hi. Hi. How you doing, bud? You got to be sweating in that jersey, right? Yeah. Yeah, nice. I'm glad you wore it. I just came in to get a cup of coffee, and the Stanley Cup is here. So that's pretty cool. Thank you. You're welcome, guys. It's pretty easy to, to accommodate these people for one day. Everybody gets super excited, so it's uh, it's pretty cool to see. That's awesome. Thanks. My grandfather, he's been a Concord, Mass resident for his whole life. He was a chief of uh, the fire department there. In 09, for whatever reason, we didn't get down here, so that was something that my grandfather was all over me about, and I did feel pretty guilty about it, so I made sure if we ever won it again that we bring it down. I think he realizes what an opportunity it is to not just, you know, take it for yourself, but to share it with everyone around him. So, you know, going up to the coffee shop in Cohasset and sharing it with the community is a part of the police department, the fire department, the sporting goods store. Thank you, Doug. I give Brooks a lot of credit because I think it's really easy to, to do a lot of the things that you want to do selfishly, but I think he also realizes what an opportunity it is to share the cup with the community of people that have supported him for a long time, you know. The Stanley Cup. I guess I, I can at least just thank everybody for coming. We're lucky enough to do this for the second time around. Have fun with it. I guess the only rule is you can't pick it up, but you can hug it, touch it, kiss it, whatever you want to do. So um, enjoy it. It, it really, I can't describe it. It, it. I couldn't imagine the second time. The first time I thought it was great, but this is wonderful, really. I mean, he's been like a uh, perfect role model for the young players. Uh, so proud of him, what he's, what he's accomplished, and he's worked so hard to do it. So, that's it. <laughs> one of my high school teammates, he runs all the tugboats in Boston Harbor, so we're taking one of his boats in. Whoopic! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know for my family, it was definitely the, the right move to go back to Washington. We didn't want to go anywhere, and then after the trade, obviously, didn't think it was a possibility, and then somehow worked out for us, so we're really excited. Just as cool as the first time, so. And definitely appreciate it more. So, no, it's. Last look. That's it, yeah.